Well, all eyes on Bay and Wall Street uh, after the new NAFTA deal. Chris McCusker joins us live now from the 680 Business Center. Uh, Chris, I guess it's called the USMCA. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? I know. It's not nearly <laughs> as catchy as NAFTA. No, but it isn't. No, what can you do? Uh, a bit of a relief rally, Francis, uh, although markets did finish off their highs for the day. The TSX at one point was looking at a triple-digit gain. It was up by 31, as you just saw there. The Dow was up by almost 300 at one point. It finished up by 193. Now, in the U.S., the Dow and the S&P did see their best day since September 20th. Uh, now, I also heard today that uh, even with this good news, the U.S.-China trade issues are still out there. Mm -hmm. Brexit still not settled. There's a new government in Italy, so there are other sort of risks at play that might have been a factor. Okay, well, let's talk about the deal as a boost to the Canadian auto industry, specifically auto parts manufacturers. Yeah, that's right. This is uh, likely to be good news for companies like Magna International and Linamar, and both of those stocks moved higher today. Magna up by 2.2%, Linamar up by 6.3%. Uh, a couple interesting notes on Bay Street today. Now, the steel and aluminum tariffs remain in place, at least for now. Despite that, shares in Stelco up by almost 5%. And then there's all this talk as well out there about the concessions in the dairy industry. Mm -hmm. Cheesemaker Saputo saw its stock higher up by 5.7%. That was actually the biggest gain for that stock this year. So, hmm. yeah, a couple idiosyncrasies, yeah. let's say. Well, what about the loony? How did the uh, loony react to, uh, uh, to today's news? It did move higher. It was up by a little more than half a cent, and it got very close to its highest level since May. Uh, now, sort of working in conjunction here today, the fact that we got this NAFTA, sort of a good news, bad news deal uh, uh, story here on this deal. Bank of Canada now very likely to raise interest rates on October the mm -hmm. 24th. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're going to look to sort of keep pace with the U.S. Federal Reserve that just just moved rates last month. So that's part of the, mo the movement we saw in the loony today. Right. So one of those uh, ancillary uh, costs there, interest rates could go up as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good news, bad news. But USMCA. <laughs> yes. Uzmka? Is that it? Uzmka? Uzmka. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll Not think of something. Work. Okay. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Talk to you later.